I'm CT. When I'm not hosting podcasts, I live in the real world. I mean, everybody's got to have a job, right? Well, my job just happens to be CS, customer service. You know, solutions, relationships, and generating motivation to keep my team pumped up and connected to every single guest who has made a choice to stop into our store and fill their baskets and buggies full of everything. This is CTCS, episode number 62, Thanksgiving Day. Let the seasons ring in. Transition walk. This is the eve before Thanksgiving. This will be my third Thanksgiving with the, with the grocery store chain. And uh, I know one thing. Tomorrow, Thanksgiving Day, yeah, yeah, I'm on the front line. Yeah, right there in front of everybody that want, they need, they got to have. Some might share a couple of stories. Others are grumbling because they had to travel. And you'll meet a bunch of people from out of town that have no idea what your store is all about. But, you know, you smile. You smile. And, uh, you know, you, you share your stories back when... when when, when they invite that kind of a situation in. But, you know, we'll close at 2 o'clock. Uh, we'll officially leave uh, because there will be people that will come in at 1.59. But, you know what, that's, that's what all of this is about, to document reality. Welcome to CTCS, the Thanksgiving show. Oh, wow. Pulling into the parking lot of the mall that our store is positioned in. And, wow, usually don't see it this blank at all. There are a few cars down there by the coffee shop, but... Wow. I did not expect it to be this silent. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now as I come over here toward the store. Okay, that's where the people are. All those latecomers for Thanksgiving. Oh, we got it covered, Grandma. We're, we're, we're going to stop by the store first. We're going to make sure the CT is in CS first. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. Here we go. So what did you do? So I spoke with an American uh, yesterday, and I asked him if he was ready for Thanksgiving. He said he sure was. It was going to be one of the, his most thankful Thanksgivings he could remember. He was about 35, 40 years old. And I said, oh, why is that? And he said, well, I just got back from Ukraine. And I said, and I said well, what were you doing in Ukraine? Were you, you know, helping out or you know, have family over there? He said, I fought. He said, I fought with the Ukrainians. We talked about this. Yeah. He said, uh, I did uh, 12 years in the Army. He said, I got out. He said, then I saw the invasion. He said, I stopped what I was doing. And I was able to be in a position in my life where I could afford to go over there. He said, I went over there and volunteered my time in service. He said, I wanted to liberate them. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I thought, what are the odds that, that you, you're going to meet someone that not only served, but went and fought for another country in another war that had absolutely nothing to do with us? Will he be recognized as a, as a veteran of that war? You know, you know so. what I mean? I hope so, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, officially, probably not. But, you know, as far, and as, far as my eyes are concerned, you should be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are your plans? Just, my family's in town, and I'm going to yeah, I don't celebrate Thanksgiving, so they're going right. to make some vegetables that they asked me for. Yeah. And then I'm going to go home and relax. That's interesting that you say that you, that you don't celebrate because neither do I. Today, today is a day of gratefulness. So, so, so that yeah, exactly. Yeah, and if, you, if you celebrate gratefulness and mindfulness, you got peace every right. every day. <laughs> Excellent. So now, so wait, is that an onion? I don't know. Did you bring me some as an onion? Yeah. Okay, I don't want this. I want it was with the scallions. And I don't want onions. You say, yeah, that's definitely not a scallion. Okay. Yeah, I mean, doesn't that look like it's a, like it one does, of these? But look at that. <gasps> and maybe that's what it looks like underneath a scallion. And look at this. I would have never. So thought. I don't know. It smells different. It smells different. But look at this one. See, I was I brought these all for my sister. Then I said, let me separate because I want one too. Uh-huh. But I don't. You want me to put an onion in a scallion? Yeah. Right. Any crazy stories this week? I mean, I'm, I'm just getting here on a Thursday. Oh, yeah. I think the craziest thing, I was on Register 3, and there was a couple arguing right in front of customer service. Really? Yeah. A good argument? It was a good argument. I guess he had, like, something in his pants or something was showing on his pants, and they were very inebriated. Yeah. And she was yelling at him, and he was yelling Is this a blonde-haired lady? No, it was a black couple. Okay, all right. All so right. security had to come over, but the way security came over, he was just very chill about it. He was like, yeah. hey, man, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to pull Dr. Phil on him? Pretty much. Like, okay, talk to me. <laughs> He's like, man, I don't know what's going on with her. She's always wanting to complain. <laughs> He's like, well, you know, y'all got to go home together, so you might want to get it together. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of public display. A little bit. That's how they show each other their love. <laughs> 
9.22 a.m. and they're already doing uh, security. Uh, you need to be uh, taping things. Uh, people are stealing already on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, I'm not shocked. It's, I mean, there's a lot of full baskets and everything like that going through the store. Very crowded at this point. Is this kind of the guy right here? The reason why you guys did a uh, security check? I don't know. I just heard over the radio do a security check, so I did one. So that's a lot of soda put in one basket. Yeah, it's going to be Oreo type of. So, and of course, the number one question on the phone is, how late are you guys open today? Forward. Thank you, Joe. What is this? Pepperidge Farm, very thin, holy bread. That very thin. Very thin, yeah. it says on there. Uh, a woman brought it up, and I'm, I said, how can I help you? And she said, I, I, don't, I bought this bread, and I don't want it. And I thought, why did you buy it in the first place? <laughs> why do they do that? I, I, I don't know. I, I'm sure, statistically, one out of 100 accidentally do buy something they don't want. But 99% of the returns we get are the item is getting ready to expire, which let's check the date on. Oh, okay, yep. And, and so they bring it back. The expiration is December 3rd, so that's there you go. Probably yeah, yeah today's the 24th, yeah. so 25th. So. so that's less seven, that's almost a week. So it could be that. So or, take it back to the store. They, yep. they take everything back. Or, but a lot of times they'll bring back a random item that's not going to expire, and they take that very same cash and buy another item. And I think they're sitting in their kitchen, and they're looking at something, and they're going, you know what, I don't really need that. Let me let me buy something else with it. The older woman that said that she was 90 years old, uh -huh. she was in the middle of a conversation with me before she said that, and, she, um, and I'll tell you what led to her making that comment, was that she's got uh, Spanish-speaking neighbors, and, and they're always speaking Spanish in front of her, and she says, I know full well, oh, there she's right there, she, uh, that I know full well that they speak English, but around me they speak Spanish. And she said, this morning, before I came over here, I went up and I hit, I hit the woman in the mouth with my hand. What? And my hand is hurting so bad. I said, I, I have to remind them over and over again, don't speak Spanish in front of me. And they were doing it. She went and hit him in the mouth. Wow. She says, I'm 90 years old. I think I deserve to do that. And I'm going, oh, my God. That's that's when I said, are you kidding me? And then everybody turned around and looked at wow. her. Wow. You should have said, uh, <laughs> it, oh, that's great. Can you show me where it says that English is the official language of the United States? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and she felt that being 90 years old was, was, was reason yeah, yeah, enough yeah. for her to do it. Yeah. And she was sitting there shaking her hand. And I was like, oh. well, you know, sometimes you get what you deserve. I'll get that new script in just a sec. How's your Thanksgiving, oh, man? Said somebody return the cake? Oh, that's Karina's birthday cake. Her birthday is today, but we celebrated yesterday. And you left the cake out so the frosting would all turn bad? Or? Um, it's still really... We were eating it for breakfast this morning. It's fine. I promise. Uh, I see. Why not? Why not have cake for breakfast on Thanksgiving, right? Any day. What a, what a, Any day. It's like, it's like pizza. Just leave it out. Yeah. Let, let, let the air dry it. Make it hard. Do you do anything special for uh, Thanksgiving? coming to see us. That's what family. I'm more, yeah, now, when I come back at like 4.30, I'm going to be very disappointed when you force yeah. I'm just, just going to be standing outside. Like, Banging hey, on the door. Hey. Where are they? So we don't open tomorrow until 8. Really? So, well, that's pretty interesting. Okay, we're currently following a gentleman right now who's in a uh, dark coat mask. They caught him uh, stealing a turkey last night. So now what they're trying to do is they're trying to find out what he's going to try to steal. That man that, we, that you... Mm -hmm. Describe. He tried to take a turkey the other night. Yes. That's my buddy. Yeah, well, your buddy tried to steal a turkey. <laughs> That's my buddy, man. He was an old man and all black. really nice if you ever talked to him. Yeah, he's nice. But we talked about this, didn't we? That they, 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 they get the you with words. kindness. Yeah. Those are the yeah. ones you have to watch out for. Yep. Man. And then he tried to talk about it. He says, man, what's going on with the turkey? I'm, I'm thinking, well, are you going to confess to me that you tried to take he, the turkey he, now? He ain't going to confess to it. A woman, she and I are having this great conversation, and we're talking about how, you know, Thanksgiving for her begins whenever. And then um, on registry number four, um, she gets uh, three $100 bills. She looks at the $100 bills the way that we're supposed to, and then she hands me the $100 bills, and I look at it. And the lady looked at me in the eyes. She said, really, do you think... I would bring in fake ones, and she she wanted nothing to do with me from that moment forward. We went from having a great conversation to where she was really angry. Makes you wonder why, right? Yeah. Like if you've got nothing to, if you did any, if you did nothing, what are you worried about? Yeah. I mean, it happens to me all the time. Oh, it was almost like we offended her because we were double checking. Yeah. You know, but that's our job. Yeah, exactly. How dare you do your job? Yeah. That's yeah. what happens here. What are your Thanksgiving uh, festivities? What are they all about this year? Well, let's see. For lunch, we're going over to the park to eat sub. 
and watch kids run around and be crazy. <laughs> and then dinner will be later. What time is dinner? Because I want to I'm, I'm coming over, man, nobody, with, with a nobody, foster. Nobody has told us, honestly. <laughs> no one has told us. We didn't have a need to know. <laughs> that was beyond our favor. All, All right. right. Happy Thanksgiving. What are you going to do tonight when the store is closed? We close at 2. You're going to come in here at 7, 8 o'clock. <laughs> Go Tigers. Yes, sir. We just got the official written rule from the general manager that two minutes before the top of the hour, two minutes before two, it, nobody's in the building. Nobody gets in the building whatsoever. And like he says it, it's time for us to go home and be with our family. You going to go home and be with the family, New Guy Bill? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right now, New Guy Bill, he's doing what his job is, and that is he's collecting cards. All right, 35 minutes left to go in the day, and uh, we are a full house, a full house full of people, and we've started making the announcements of, hey, look, uh, we're, go we're go closing the doors at 2 o'clock. we got families to go home to, and you have to be blunt like that because, you know, you want to, you don't want to offend them, but you kind of do, and you want them to kind of go on a little guilt trip as well because let's go home to our families. All right, we're down to 15 minutes here. I mean, it's been a kind of a steady crowd today, but yeah. so we have about 15 minutes left, okay? So we're 15. Yeah, we'll be closed in 15 minutes. You'll be closed in 15, 15, 15 minutes. 15 minutes, that's it. Yep. Oh, so yep. only 15 minutes. Yep. So, uh, I don't know. Do, do you feel anxiety like I do? Because you know, I don't because feel anxious because I feel very stern in my ways at this moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You try to lay the law down and stuff yeah. like that. We're trying to be nice. Yeah, but, nice about it. But... See, there you go. They're, they're making the announcements. Yep. And we are officially closed. Standing up here with security. Security and I are saying, nope, can't get in. Can't get in. Yeah. <laughs> now we've got to get those that are in yeah, out. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Transition walk, day number two. This is Black Friday. Uh, people are supposed to be out and about having a great time, and we had to make an emergency run over to, to a hardware store, and uh, man, it was empty. So, where's everybody at? Is it going to be one of those kinds of days? Because I'll tell you what, I'm going to tell you right now, that I can't stand being in a store where there is nobody. And, and all the other coworkers will sit there and say, man, don't, don't put a curse on it. No, I want a full store. I like to be busy. What's going on? No, I just need to, can you just put a, um, a reason on this refund for me? And then you just put something on this one. You just sign this one. I was missing this one. I don't know what happened to it. Hmm. So, in, in, in other words, uh, the president. Oh, shit. What did they it's shake the same, it up? It's the same for, you for some reason. It looks suspicious. Corporate's coming to look into it later. Are right, they good? Good. I like it when corporate does that. They got a lot of questions for you. Look, man, I'm my best friend in radio is HR. So, yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> Living on the edge, man. Creating your own rules. Can you just sign this one for me? I told the county that I, I didn't want to do the thing yesterday by giving him back his money and stuff like that. And so, I mean, he kind of took my side, but he didn't, but he understood. But those are the decisions that a lot of the our guests and stuff like that don't understand. That what we have to deal with is that, do you trust? Yeah, you, you have to answer for, oh, that was an expensive. That's a lot of money if you combine both transactions. Yeah, yeah. And, and it does look suspicious, so you got to get the story. Well, that's why I kept going. You know, I think we talked about that yesterday is that, you know, it's like, dude, I, I'm, I'm frozen. And so. Yeah, and and. You asked all the right questions, and then technically everything was done by the book. So, right, right, right. What you got there, buddy? Thanksgiving being over, that means that the aisles here at the store are flooded with Christmas songs, and so you get that holly jolly kind of spirit. And then you're reminded that uh, there's still people, even though we're in the holly jolly spirit, that are trying to rip off cheese. And, uh, you know, no, it's not buy one, get one free. It's full price. But my daughter said, well, no, not this time. Wow, that was not fun. Um, I'm at register number one. Guy comes up with dry ice, kind of tosses it up there. You don't do that with dry ice. And then you, you have to take it out of the brown paper bag that he put it in. And I take it out of there, and this big gas bubble comes out of that paper bag right into my face. I have the worst freaking headache right now. Oh, my God. You're not supposed to breathe in the fumes of dry ice. And he, and he set that situation to him. I got to give you a jazzy update. We know that she did the great escape yesterday out of out of the metal kennel and then out the back door. I don't know how she did it. So today I went over to Lowe's and I, I, I got chain, real thick chain, and three locks to lock that door down. Lee comes home. How, where, where, no. 
her head is caught in in the uh, in between the the, uh, the door and and she's sitting there struggling. No. Yeah. yeah. Already working on it. So it's already trying to get out. That dog is smart. That dog has got to be smarter than a human. That dog is exploiting she's every gonna weakness. Figure. Yep. She's she going to figure it out. And, and no matter how good you think you have it, she's going to find that weak spot. Every That's it. Time. That's it. She's a master. So I'm thinking she should be an employee of the store. She'd be a better security guard. You, you, need to, you know what? You need to take her, chain her up, put her in her kennel, drive around the town to town, charge people money to come in a tent, and watch her escape. It's a great jazz dude. The U.S. played in the World Cup today, and uh, our bar, yeah, we have a bar here at the grocery store, was just jamming with people watching that. And it was very interesting to see how people were explaining the game to those that are brand new to the sport. If you listen very carefully, you can hear the Christmas music playing in the background. You've got this now for the next month. Karen and Richard Carpenter. Are you from out west? I'm saying, see, my dad grew up out there. Okay, out in LA. I'm moving out this way. Okay. Grew up, grew up, grew up. Right. There you go. So yeah. how, how do you like it though when they when you ask somebody as here, Audrey's friend, no, I just got it for the for the fashion. It's like you're, you're going, what? I, I like the color blue. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> What's different about this flower? That that I mean, is, is there well, it's something? It's got to be self riding to make this kind of cake she makes. Oh, what kind of cake is it? It's a pound cake. Really? Yeah, oh, so it has to be like kind of fluffy then. Yeah. Okay. But it's made from scratch. Ooh, ooh, you're spoiled. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. What are you at? Uh, Five ninety one, then, sir. Best Harris tea of all the Harris tea. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. You try hard. You do good. You have a great night all right. tonight. Enjoy that cake. Okay. Thank now, you. Now, if you need a taste tester, we're here. Okay. okay. We're, we're here for it. All right. <laughs> thank you so much. You bet. Thank you. All right. Transition walk, day number three. I'm still bothered by an event that took place last night in customer service. I mean, from up close, it probably doesn't look like there's something that went wrong. But when you pull the lens back, I just don't feel comfortable with what took place. A guest comes in to cash your, their payroll check. We do. And then the guest turned to me for money order. And I'm thinking, why did you have to have two people to do this? And so, and in the transition of making that money order, um, he kept uh, giving me $20 bills, and then he would give me a $100 bill. Well, I watched him like a hawk. We've talked for, with these, these quick-fisted people, and there's a side of me that just felt like he was up to something, but because I did not take my eye off from every single move he did, it's my martial arts eye, man. I watch what's going on. I study everything, but I just felt... It just didn't feel what I felt. Smart food has been very smart in creating all these different types of... Uh, it's popcorn, is it not? New guy, Bill? It is popcorn mix. And so it's their traditional popcorn with uh, crunch berries. Yeah, it's, it's Captain Crunch's Crunch Berries Merry Berry Popcorn Mix. Say that five times in a row. So, <laughs> so of course, you know, I've got to get this. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, yeah. As are half of us up there. Do you see this, list. David? What's that? Look at this. Smart food... Captain Crunch popcorn. Wow. <laughs> That's exactly what you need. <laughs> if I came up to you and said, hey, Bill, what are you hawking? Would you know what I was talking about? Absolutely. So you know what hawking is? Yeah, but I'm 42 years old. <laughs> so I, 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 I'm guessing you're going to tell me uh, the other associate did not know what you were talking they, about. They had no idea uh, what hawking was. And so I, you know, I maybe, maybe they thought of like hawking up a fur bar, bar or something like that. You know, it's like, uh, so but, you said, what are you hawking today? And yeah. what did she say? And, and she goes, what am I, what? I said, hawking. And she, and she looks at me and she goes, I don't know what you're talking about. And I said, what are you selling? Oh, and I said, you've never heard of a hawk shop or anything like that? And she goes, no. Wow. <laughs> well, that just speaks for where you and I are at. <laughs> the big search is on in the store, Masa Harina, which I guess goes with chili. And you Google it, it, it shows you a picture of it. But you ask anybody, even back in the bakery, Masa Harina. And everybody's like going, what? What? <laughs> we have caught that man stealing. More times. This is at least like five times. Yeah, and he comes in every single day. 
and he tries to steal a three dollar pack of meat or a bunch of rolls or whatever and sometimes we let it go if it's something little but he gets a foster's beer this is a big beer this is this is but but you know he got me because he okay. came up here and talked about how good okay. the pumpkin pies are. He, I knew it, and, and, and I knew something was wrong because okay. he never comes to the counter. He always goes to self checkout because that's how he steals. He hides his items under a newspaper. Yep. And he did it today, but he thought he was going to talk to you and you just and just walk right out, and he almost did. Right. And he, and he goes, "That's not mine." Yeah. And so how did he get in there? Then? Right. Right. The same type of beer that you buy every single day, but this one's not yours. Okay. Transition walk, day number four. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it's raining out here in the forest. Uh, birds singing. I was a little bit worried about the birds yesterday because of this uh, bird flu that's going on. They, they say that it's uh, not not too good. Fresh out of church. You know me. I got to get my church on before I go in on a Sunday so I can, you know, refocus, get my get my reasons in, in the right order. And uh, today was the, uh, the message was pretty much quit going for more. And really understand why you've got less. Which is really interesting because uh, the message on that is is that I'm in front of people every day. I see the size of those baskets of groceries. They want more, 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 more. But they don't seem happy. Well, it was about three minutes before I was leaving to go to CS that word got to me that someone that was once a major part of my life uh, has, has transitioned. Uh, Deeply saddened by the transition of the V-Man, he helped me personally understand sports, a father of sorts in the way of breaking down the plays. Our days together at 95WQ and Sports 610 on Radio Road, then at Jefferson Pilot, he was on WBT and I played on 107.9. Jerry was even at my wedding. He's always in our hearts and we will always have stories to share, just like an unforgettable game in any sport. We'll miss you. But at the same time, we have those stories. This is why I do a transition walk before I come into the store. And that is that right off the bat, uh, I'm not in customer service. I'm at self-checkout. But yes, nine machines here I've got to take care of. And man, you are running and you're moving. We have three people that didn't show up for work and one person that walked away. Yep. Grab something. I just checked out. Just put it right here. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll keep it nice and safe for you. (laughs) between to make sure that things are going well, real well. So it's, 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 it's definitely a workout. We just got word that a couple of men are harassing two females outside the store. We've called the police. We're going to get this fixed real fast. Well, it's turned out to be three people, not two people, that are saying disgusting things to the women that are going by our guests. And uh, they uh, literally have told us they can say whatever they want. It's freedom of speech. So uh, we waited for our security to come and the police have arrived. And we're going to find out just how much that freedom of speech really lasts for them. All right, here's the update. There's 418 left to go in the professional football game, which is just, what, maybe four miles from here? We're winning. So that means uh, in 45 minutes, those people are co- going to be in the store. Don't say that to me. No, no, no. Don't I mean, tell it's, me it's, that, it's, man. Were you, were you here last year during the football games yes, and stuff like that? I mean, yes. they, I mean man, we, we, we've already been, what, three and four deep today. Yeah, but, I mean, Sundays are so damn busy that I don't, I don't see the morning crowd versus the after game crowd. I just see it. A crap yeah, crowd of people. That, I mean, it is what it is at this point. I mean, the fire's already started burning. All we can do is try to contain it and, and go from there. And I think somebody put a dura log in there too. Yeah, they did a couple of them. A little bit of gasoline, a fucking box of matches. She gets over here and, um, and she goes, What do I need to do? And I go, Just link your, your credit card. She didn't have her card with her. But somehow she knew all the numbers on her she, phone. She was co- copying it off from her phone. Okay. And she was handwriting it down okay. and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So she puts that card in. Instead of waiting here and letting me scan it from customer service and do it, she walks right back over to his yes. line. Yes. Cuts in front of somebody. He goes to scan it. He it declines it. It declines it, right? He does it three more times. Yeah, and now the card's stuck. So now the off. card's blocked out of the system. Yeah. And she comes over, and we're like, it's not working. She goes, all right, I'm going to add another card. So she claims she adds another car, goes over there, it's the same car. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. So we're like, man, we gotta add a different car. And she, I go, there's a Bank of an ATM, a Bank of America ATM right behind the store that does wireless. Yeah. You can take your phone over there and try to withdraw money. And well, she did. But then you saw what she did with the money. She she didn't pay you up here. She went right back to him. Yeah. She, yeah. And she went right yeah. back. Yeah. Like, what the heck? She came in and grabbed her shit and went over there. Yeah. And we're just like, what are you doing? <laughs> Like, I, I, I just wanted her to give up. I wanted her to get she frustrated would not. and leave. She, she would not. Would. She would not. She was going to figure something out. Now, you're saying that she's she's your aunt? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
She says she too. <laughs> she said, that's my buddy up oh. there. Let's find out if I know it. How was your Thanksgiving? Oh, it was great. That's good, that's good. It was great. I think that's the last time that I saw you. It was like the day before Thanksgiving. Let me see that picture. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that it was your aunt. Yeah. Oh, man, so she gets out and yeah, about all the time, huh? Yes, yeah, so say hello to her for me, okay? I sure will. <laughs> Thank you. She will talk your ear. Yes, she will. Yes, yes she will. <laughs> You're not going to believe what I just found out I what see. they're selling here. I see what's in your hand. It makes me happy. Fireball. Yeah. Oh, yeah, what's that? Wow, I, I didn't know that they were doing it here. What is that? That's the only one they have. Fireball. Look at yeah. this. It's fireball it's here. Fireball for what? It's not for what? For what? Fire, it's, but it's, it's not made out of whiskey, it's made out of something else. But it's, it's 15% alcohol. Really? So it's still, still. It burns. Quema. Le quema la garganta. So, so it burns pretty good? Oh, yeah. It's fireball, it this, should burn. This hell, do you? Yeah, yeah. How much? Eight ninety nine. Well, I mean, obviously you're going to get the buzz, but it burns. Yeah. Have you ever had a fireball? Yeah. It burns. No. I, fireball, no. In Australia for my own special, right? We all had a shot of fireball. Do you get drunk with one? It burns.